Juniper Networks builds all the building blocks of the internet, routers, switches, firewalls. We make cloud providers go, we make the internet go. Um, we're about 10,000 employees based in Sunnyvale, California, but with a worldwide footprint. I think there has been a, a, a big change in the compliance field um, where the, the ethics and compliance program is more of the day job of the executive team. They're, they're focused on it more as part of how they accomplish their goals. It's, um, it's, it's sometimes a competitive advantage. Uh, companies want to do business with companies who are ethical and, and, and stay out of trouble because it, it can affect their, their own brand. Compliance programs are becoming operational. There, there's, there used to be a, a lot of focus on reactive investigations and meeting out justice. And now compliance programs need to be embedded into operations. We need to prevent and detect problems before they become bigger. Technology, I'd say, is the foundation for, for the, the change in, in not only how we're approaching the compliance uh, responsibilities, but how I think everybody is. That technology gives you data, it gives you information, allows you to measure where your risks are. Maybe even more importantly, it allows you to measure whether you're effective. Is your strategy working? Is it not? Are the things getting better? Are they getting worse? Without the data that the technology drives, you're kind of flying blind. I have always thought that conflicts of interest are the canary in the coal mine. It, if people understand and can recognize conflicts of interest, they're better at identifying all kinds of compliance risks. So as you increase the comprehension, the awareness and understanding of employees about conflicts of interest issues, they just become more attuned to all risks. And so this was important for us to, to drive the conflict of interest program because of its influence on, on the employees more broadly. Our partnership with Conversant is really based on the competitive advantage that we saw in Conversant in the user interface. When, if we are going to be embedded into our employees' daily lives and make sure that they're disclosing to us what they need to disclose, that process needs to be easy for the employees. It can't be cumbersome. They can't become confused. They need to be able to go through that process in an intuitive interface that allows them to complete their obligations and move on. And the same for us on our team. We want to be able to use that information in a, in, a, in a user interface that allows us to extract the insights we need. And we found that that, that was a, a competitive advantage that, that Conversant brought, is that user interface and the, and the workflows. When things weren't going well is when the Conversant team was actually at its best. They were responsive to what we wanted to see and the changes that we wanted to see happen. Um, it's easy to have everything and everyone be happy when everything is smooth. But it is the tough times when you see whether you've got a good partner and somebody who's gonna be responsive to your needs and, and work with you. And that's, that's frankly why we're a, a conversant customer for a number of different tools. 